yes welcome back in the ham c hammer studio yes so today i will talk about the optimal uh, driving speed versus charging uh, speed or how far you charge yeah for long trips so you know, before you guys complain that oh, no, no, those electro auto is so complicated but okay calm down dude yes i know you want to drive your diesel car yes you want to find excuses for driving your diesel so this calm down inhale some diesel you'll feel a lot better all right so uh you know uh, we have a case a typical case is that let's say uh some norwegian uh, someone in oslo wants to drive to spain or italy or whatever I mean, they want to drive far and they just want to know how far should i drive you know, let's say because they can see they see in the trip meter that okay if you drive slower uh, you also save energy. Does it pay off rather, rather than driving faster? Uh, uh, or if you drive fast, how fast can you drive before you know before it doesn't pay off to hammer it too hard? Yeah. So I give you the answer. Yeah, yeah. In this video, so I went to uh, Bustov. Uh, well, it was a while ago, um, about a week or so ago, and I measured uh, several speeds and consumption, but also took in account heat loss in each case. So I did the 110, while well, you see a table here, 110, 130, 150 runs and various runs and um, measure everything. And then I crunched the numbers in a spreadsheet where also counting uh, a charging stop on the way. And each charging stop depends also if you drive faster, you run out of juice faster and then you have to charge more often. Yeah. So all of that is, is just... Um, simplified in the in the uh, spreadsheet and then here are the results so um again okay so here we have speed yeah pretty easy uh, to understand and then here in this case we have uh, if you only have access to 50 kilowatt fast charger then you see that uh, you shouldn't cruise much faster than 130 kilometers per hour if you cruise too fast then you arrive slower because uh, you consume more too much energy and then in the second case here, we have the 120 kilowatt, which is uh, supercharger version 2 today. Um, then you can cruise 190. Yes, uh, it charges so fast that you can cruise 190. Um, but the cruise control only works up until 150. So in many cases, I would say that, okay, uh, just cruise 150. See, you don't lose that much average speed compared to 190. Um, and then in the third case here we have 200 kilowatt yeah for people have the 200 kilowatt update but um we don't have a supercharger version 3 out yet um so this will only work if you are charging on ionity or whatever other charger that can output uh, 500 amp then actually to my big surprise uh still 190 is the optimal speed here something magic happens at 200 um Okay, three things. Uh, one first thing is that you have way more drag. You know, drag just increases worse and worse. And the second thing is that um, you have more heat loss because you need more power to push the car at those speeds. And then the third thing is that uh, you have lower range when you drive faster. So you have to charge more often. And that means that the component for uh, adding a charging stop on the way increases everything and then yeah so 190 is still the magic number for now but this uh, keep in mind that this is the performance version so um and i also have this non-original rim so maybe if you use a uh, rear wheel drive long range or the the dual motor long range uh, with those uh, plastic caps wheel caps then maybe you can cruise at 200 but still 190 is close enough yeah uh, and then okay if you look here on the next uh, group here you see that uh, Average average speed, including uh, charging stops. Uh, but now we only look at the 200 kilowatt uh, uh, update. So we, given that you only charge on Ionity or the version three supercharger, which will be coming soon. Um, then uh, what I want to find out is how far should you charge? So if we look here in the first case, we only charge to 50%, and then the average speed is very impressive, 163 kilowatt. But uh, then you don't get, get too far, and you have to charge more often, and that doesn't pay off. You see that I highlight the best result with in bold here. 
So you see that actually you should charge with 60%, uh, but even if you charge with 70%, it's still not a too big of a deal. You, okay, it's slightly slower, but uh, so for you guys, I mean, if you have family with you and you charge, with, you go so fast with 70% anyway, and you want to stress, uh, you want to stress and ah, oh, let's leave at 60%, ah, oh, no big deal. Just charge with 70, maybe even 75, 80%, still no big deal. Yeah, and then uh, in the last case, uh, we look at uh, what if you have to stop anyway, you know, so then we don't count the, the charging stop. Um, if you know that the next supercharger, you have to stop there anyway, there is no other supercharger beyond that one that you can reach anyway. Then what is the case then? Uh, then uh, you can charge at 50% uh, if you can reach the next supercharger. Yeah, because then the average speed is obviously higher. Uh, charging it further uh, doesn't really uh, help. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> so uh, yeah, um, I think that's it. Uh, so, but okay. So these are, you know, the many countries you cannot cruise at 190. <laughs> but I would say that, um, you know, just go with 150. In most cases, you see that you don't lose too much if you cruise 150, okay? Average bit is slightly slower, uh, but uh, at 150, you can use cruise control, you can use auto steer, it's way more convenient. Um, and then the, 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 the amount of bug splat in your front windscreen and in your front bumper will be way reduced versus 190, 200. Um, and what else? Yeah, okay, so, and also at those speeds, you get, um, you consume less energy, meaning that you need less cycles to drive the whole trip, you know. So that also saves the battery better. So, uh, of course, if you're in a rush, if you know you have to get somewhere, then of course, go fast. But uh, for most cases, I think just cruise 150 if you can. And also charge to about 60-70% um, if you can. Uh, but of course, if you go beyond that one, then no big deal. Uh, so, yeah. I think that's it. Very simple, right? Not too complicated. So um, that's it for now then. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.